sine 68 degrees I punch it on my calculator and it gives 0 0.99619 use calculators to write down the values of sine 12 degrees sine 18.12 degrees and sine 74.42 degrees find the angles whose signs are a one third b three quarters c 0 0.72 so to get this from my calculator I have to take the arc sign so arc sign of one third which is actually sine inverse of one third I have to punch it on my calculator so then I'll need to take the second function so I'll say one third In the second function, then I take sine inverse. This gives me 19.47 degrees. Let's do the second one. I'll take three quarters, then I enter the second function and I punch sine inverse. This gives me 48. 0.6 degrees so here yeah, I have the sine inverse of 0 0.72 I found this on my calculator I have 46.05 degrees Find the length of the sides, mark x in the figures below. So this is our first figure. Now what do I see? I have this angle and I know its side. So I can use any of the trigonometry ratios to find out the other side. Now this is the opposite of this angle and this is a hypotenuse so I can use sine. What do I say? I say sine 25 is equal to x all over 8. I make x the subject. x is equal to 8 times sine 25. x is equal to 8 times what is sine 25? Zero point four two two six times eight. So x is equals to this gives me three point three eight zero nine centimeters. So let's try this other one. Yeah, this is the opposite and this is a hypotenuse. So I take sine, I'll say sine 65 is equal to x all over 11 x is equal to 11 times sine 65 x is equal to 11 times what is sine 65 0 0.90 6 x is equals to 9.969 centimeters Find the angle mark theta in the figure below. Here I have theta. 
this is the opposite and hypotenuse so i'm saying that sine theta is equals to 2 all over 3 what is theta Arc sine of 2 all over 3 theta is equals to punches on my calculator gives 41.8 degrees let's now look at the second one this is theta here this is opposite all over hypotenuse so i'll say sine theta is equals to 49 all over 75 theta is the arc sine of 49 all over 75 Theta is equal to theta is equal to punches on the calculator gives forty point seven nine degrees. Let's now look at this other example. Yeah, this is my angle. Yeah, I don't know the opposite, but I know the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Which ratio will I use there? I use cosine. So yeah, I'll say cos theta is equals to 12 all over 34. Theta is cos inverse of 12 all over 34. Theta is equals to the punches on our calculator gives sixty nine point three three degrees. Find the length of the side mark Y in the figures below. Now this is my angle here. This is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So I use tangent of this angle. So I'll say tan 41 is equals to Y all over 5. So y is equal to 5 times tan 41 this is 5 times what is tan 41 0 0.869 so y is equal to Four point three five. Attempt this second example. Find the angles mark alpha in the figures below. So this is alpha here. Yeah, I know the opposite and I know the adjacent. What do I say? I say tan alpha is equals to 5 all over 7. Now, what is alpha? Alpha is the arc tangent. So we say tan inverse of 5 all over 7. Alpha is equals to Let's punch out on the calculator. 5 divided by 7 gives us 35.54 degrees. Attend this second example.
find the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle alpha in the figures below. This is alpha here. Now, I need to know this other side and apply Pythagoras theorem. Let me call this x. I have x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared. x squared is equal to 144 plus 25 x squared is equal to 169 x squared on both sides x there is equal to 13 so x is 13 now what is sine alpha will be equals to opposite all over hypotenuse that is 12 all over 13 what is cos alpha it is adjacent all over hypotenuse this is 5 all over 13. What is tan alpha? Tan alpha is equal to opposite all over adjacent. That is 12 all over 5. Now let's look at this second one here. I'll need to know this other side. So let me call this side x. Now I'll have here square root of 8 all square is equal to square root of 7 all square plus x square. This is 8 is equal to 7 plus x square. x square is equal to 8 minus 7. x is equal to 1. x square is equal to 1 x squared on both sides, x is equal to 1. So I come this way. I now know all the three sides, so I can work out the ratios. Sine alpha there is equal to opposite all over hypotenuse, that is root 7 all over root 8. Cos alpha is equals to adjacent all over hypotenuse 1 all over root 8 tan alpha is equals to opposite all over adjacent that is root 7 all over 1 equals to root 7 in a similar way resolve this other triangle and hence get the trigonometric ratio sine cosine and tangents.